Changes are a part of life. As humans we have a tendency to resist change because as a race we are survivors and change can threaten one's survival. It's scary, it's unpredictable, it's dangerous. But change is also important. It allows us to grow, to learn, to improve. And for better or worse, change is a big part of most narratives, especially when it comes to comics, which have a tendency to change and evolve with the times. For the most part. Welcome back, Nerd Squad. Today we are going through some of those ch, ch changes with some of our favorite soups and villains as we count down the top 10 comic book characters who have changed the most. Part 2. That's right, part 2. So if you haven't checked out the part 1 to this list and you love learning about character growth and development throughout comic book history, be sure to check it out as well. Alright, let's get counting. Number 10, Mr. Sinister. From an obsession with capes to an army of sinister clones to Miss Sinister to just his days as semi mad scientist Nathaniel Essex, Mr. Sinister has changed quite a bit. Even just through his origins, we learned how much the character went through to become the villain he is today. Sinister took his name from the condemning description his wife gave him on her deathbed. She refused to forgive Nathaniel for his evil ways, calling him Sinister, a name which would stay with him and help him usher in a new role. He also has changed from just a human who is altered by Apocalypse's celestial tech to now being considered a full-fledged mutant in his current form. Number 9, Lucas Bishop. Bishop has gone from being a good guy to a bad guy a few times throughout the year. Though most of the times I'd say when he is a bad guy, he's misunderstood. But it isn't just his alignment where we've seen change here and there throughout the years. He has also undergone some changes to his power set, being able to use his energy manipulation and absorption powers for more, becoming stronger. And he's had a few physical changes too. His bionic arm quickly became a classic part of his look, but he didn't always have it in the comics. He originally had two organic arms, but had one ripped off by Predator during the events of the Messiah Complex and had to have it replaced with a cybernetic prosthetic. Does he still have that prosthetic? We don't really know. It hasn't really come up yet in Dawn of X. It's always wearing gloves, so I can't tell. Number 8, Luke Cage. When Luke Cage was originally introduced, we knew him as Luke Cage Hero for Hire. That very first, very stylized look that he had would later evolve into Power Man, and then eventually Luke Cage would just become Luke Cage again. Although Luke Cage wasn't even really his original name. His original name was Carl Lucas. Luke Cage was actually a criminal once upon a time, and it was during his imprisonment in Seagate Prison that he was exposed to experimental testing, which granted him his powers. Turning away from a life of crime for profit, he instead decided to use his powers to become a hero for profit. Since then, he has often been a full fledged hero for heroic sake and has even led his own Avengers team, the Mighty Avengers. Number 7, Monica Rambeau. Monica has been through so many different costumes and identities since she was first introduced. While we did talk about Carol's change from Miss Marvel to Captain Marvel, before Monica was Photon or Spectrum, she was Captain Marvel. In fact, she was Captain Marvel not only before Carol Danvers, but before Janice Vell, Marvel's son was even Captain Marvel. In fact, Monica only gave up the mantle of Captain Marvel, who she was originally introduced as in the comics, because of Janice Vell wanting to take over that mantle. In fact, that isn't the only mantle that Janice Vell took up that originally belonged to Monica. He now goes by the name Photon, which belonged to Monica in the 90s, before he took up that name in the early 2000s anyways. Monica has had to change names and superhero identities quite a few times it seems, because no one ever wanted to let her keep a name. In fact, she's actually only ever been known as Spectrum, her current superhero alias, since 2013. So I guess we'll wait and see if this sticks. Number 6. Iron Man. Before Tony Stark appeared played by Robert Downey Jr. in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he was kind of a sidelined character. Iron Man wasn't many people's favorite Avenger, nor did he have as much of the spotlight as he would get after the success of the Iron Man and Avengers films. But even ignoring the massive change to his popularity throughout the years in the comics, whether or not you were a huge Tony Stark fan before or after the MCU became a thing, he also went through a lot of character changes in the comics as well. He's recovered from alcoholism, had tons of character re designs when it comes to his armor, has basically become part tech at this point through experimenting and modding himself, he's turned evil more than once, and has died as well more than once, even at one point being killed and replaced by a younger version of himself. Whew, talk about growth. 
Number 5. Superman DC is known for their consistent characters. It's what so many of us love about that publisher. Their characters are iconic and classic because they're so consistent when it comes to what they represent and stand for. As such, what Superman believes in and stands for hasn't drastically changed over the years. But the character has undergone some major changes since the initial version of his character was first introduced in Action Comics. His powers have been a lot more pared down. Originally, Superman's power set would change dramatically depending depending on what kind of powers the situation called for. He was basically a wizard. Oh, and speaking of being a wizard, he's also now gained a weakness to magic to keep his insane power levels in check as well, since he was created. He was also kinda not so nice originally in the comics, with him going to all kinds of lengths to manipulate people regardless of how it made them feel. To put it bluntly, well, he was kind of a jerk. Superman now is much more considerate and kind than he was originally. In fact, that's what we associate him more with, not with him, you know, being a jerk. He also has gotten married to Lois Lane, and the two started a family together and had a son, John Kent. Number four, Batman. Another DC staple who is known for being relatively constant. Batman has actually changed a lot since he was first introduced. Of course, now the original Batman isn't even really the same Batman, nor is Superman really the same Superman. What we mean is the Batman you were first introduced to in the pages of a detective comics was later retconned to be an alternate Batman, despite technically being, well, I mean, the first one. That Batman is now associated with the alternate world of Earth 2. But that is where the character started, even if he was retconned to be an alternate. So many changes have happened to his character from then to now. Let's not forget that while Batman has a very strict moral code now, back then he was a man who was willing to kill and even use guns. He used to be a playboy, but has more recently had a more stable and ongoing relationship with main squeeze slash on and off again partner, Selina Kyle. He became a father to Damien, and he's had so many Robins since his first sidekick, Dick Grayson, appeared on the scene. So many Robins. Too many, maybe. Number 3. Beast Hank McCoy has gone through a lot of changes since he was first introduced, especially in terms of his character design. When people think of the codename Beast now, they likely can't picture anything but the big, bouncing blue beast that we have today. Originally, however, Beast was not known by this name because he was a big, blue, furry guy, but because of his giant stature, his giant hands, his giant feet. Hank was also brilliant, but he was also very adept athletically as well, and actually that was his mutation. He was just an abnormally strong, agile big dude. However, after being exposed to a serum he'd created meant to suppress the mutant gene, Hank found his own mutant gene accelerated. The serum was also made using Mystique's genetic material, so that could be where the blue came from, if we're talking about like logically. Except that when he originally transformed, he had gray fur for a while, before it ended up to continue to mutate and actually became black. Blue only ever really came into it in terms of comic book history because artists and readers became confused due to the blue being used as a common highlight color for black at the time. And as the years have gone on, Beast has also become more and more cat-like in appearance with every passing year. So that's a weird change that I don't really know why that happened, I guess artist style. Number 2. Superboy Prime Superboy Prime originally was a good guy, but oddly enough it was his confidence in the consistency of this fact that turned him crazy and evil, believing however that he is still the hero of the story. Because where he comes from, he really is. In his reality, Earth Prime, not to be confused with the continuity of Prime Earth, superheroes only exist in comics, save for Superboy Prime, who is the only one. After his Earth was destroyed, he plotted to find a way to fix the continuity with Alexander Luther of Earth 3, becoming a villain. When forced to face with the fact that he was no longer the hero of the story and had become a villain, he suffered a psychotic break, which also made him insane and really more evil. Number 1. Bucky Barnes Bucky hasn't just changed in terms of his design, but he has also gone on to pretty much become an entirely different character since his early days. Originally, Bucky Barnes was the most happy-go-lucky sidekick of Captain America, Steve Rogers. That is, until Bucky was suspected dead after going MIA on a mission. Steve would mourn Bucky, and Barnes' death would become known as one of the few comic book deaths to remain constant, being considered perma-dead for over 40 years. He was one of those characters who would just never come back, at least so we thought, until he did 
had come back. With a robotic arm and a new role as a brainwashed military assassin working for Russia known as the Winter Soldier. Bucky would eventually become good again, but his time as the Winter Soldier would change him forever. Thank you so much for watching Nerd Squad. Which character changes in the comics have been your favorite? Are there any changes you've not been so fond of? Who do you wish would change and evolve even more? Do you prefer comics that are more constant or do you like when things change and evolve over time in stories as time changes? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to click that subscribe button on your way down there so you never miss out on any of our nerdy lists or other nerd content. This has been Top 10 Nerd and I'm your host Amanda McKnight reminding you as always to stay nerdy YouTube.